Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and prospective STFS students, and a very warm welcome to our very different open evening. My name is Neil Pledger, and I am delighted to be the head teacher of this amazing school. I'm proud to be leading the school into its next phase of its development and sharing that journey and successes with you. I've been at the school since its opening in 2013, and I remember a time when we had no teachers, no children, no buildings. I look around now and I see how far we've come. With me this evening, we have Mrs. Martindale, who is a senior assistant head teacher and is responsible for student welfare. We also have Mr. Martindale, who is, will be the learning leader for the year sevens from September 2021. And most importantly, we have our year seven students, Isabel, Amber, Finley, and Archie. And you'll hear from those guys shortly. As a parent myself, I know the important choice you have before you this evening in choosing a secondary school for your son or daughter. With this in mind, I want to ensure that you have a thorough understanding of what STFS has to offer. Parents who choose us as a school entrust us with the most important and rewarding jobs in the world, that of the welfare and development and progress of your child. Both of my children attend STFS, as do a number of other staff's children. This demonstrates the belief we have in the school. We see ourselves as a school of choice in Bucks and not as a backup to the grammar schools, but a serious competition to the selective system. We know that ultimately we are judged by league tables, but at STFS we also recognise the importance of kindness, tolerance, empathy and determination. We want our students to be kind, polite, considerate, responsible and courteous. These are the qualities that cannot be measured by a league table, but we place equal value on. Developing our students and your children into well-rounded young people who are ready for the modern world is what we pride ourselves on. Enjoy your evening. We were delighted in May 2015 and again in January 2019 to be graded as a good school under the new and challenging Ofsted framework. In particular, our work in pupil behaviour and safety is recognised as outstanding by Ofsted. We pride ourselves on keeping our rules very simple and having high expectations of everyone associated with the school, which includes all of you. We firmly believe in mutual respect, impeccable behaviour and putting maximum effort into all that you do. These consistently high expectations lead to the calm and focused environment that we have, which you will see during our tour, video during a normal, albeit the new normal, school day. Traditional values and unrelenting pursuit of the best possible outcomes are at the heart of STFS. In fact, we've conducted staff and parent surveys and been overwhelmed by the positive school experience that both of these reflected. Over 95% of parents that responded would recommend our school. If you are a regular visitor to STFS, or if you have a child here already, you will already know what makes us so special. We believe in small class sizes. We have around 25 students in each teaching group. This smaller class size increases student and teacher interaction, which in turn aids progress. We also believe that our vertical tutoring system is fundamental to our success. Students joining us in Year 7 are placed in tutor groups with Years 8, 9 and 10. This allows for students to foster relationships with older year groups who become positive and aspirational role models. Equally, this supportive role gives our older students the confidence they may not have developed in non-vertical tutor groups. Conversely, in Year 11 and the Sixth Form, we are able to tailor tutoring towards the specific needs of these year groups, who require very different support and guidance to those in Year 7 to 10. Students have six 55-minute lessons every day, which enables us to offer an increasingly varied and enriching curriculum. We have made a significant commitment to core subjects, with the English and Maths curriculum being taught every day to students in Key Stage 3. Equally, we have a great and continually developing programme of after-school clubs. We're all lifelong learners and we want our students to always be willing to try new things. Part of a quality education is developing the whole child and this sits right at the heart of everything we do and every decision we make. We want our students to be successful. We want our students to leave with the very best qualifications and achieve success in all that they can do. But success is not just limited to GCSE results. 
Success is the result of pushing yourself beyond expectations, embracing learning and embracing all the opportunities that STFS gives you. As a school, we expect every student to try their best. This is essential if they are to achieve their potential. We understand that students make progress at different rates and we work tirelessly to ensure positive outcomes for all. We set ourselves extremely high standards and as a result we have high standards for all those who attend STFS. Ultimately, my responsibility as Head of Year 7 next year is to ensure that every single student understands our expectations as a school, but also to make sure that every student understands how much the school will support them in being happy and successful. Behaviour for Learning. This was my summer reading in 2019 and again this year, and what a summer of reading it was. We recognise that the behaviour at STFS is, by and large, absolutely excellent. However, we also accept that while someone is behaving, that does not necessarily mean that they are behaving in the best way they could to learn. Our renewed focus is on not just doing what is expected, but going above and beyond and striving for independence in your learning. We are hopeful that this is the next step in our ongoing development and that it will enable our students to feel further empowered in taking control of their future. We are now reporting this attainment to parents every half term and describing effort in these much more specific terms. Our student planners contain the behaviour for learning grids right near the front because we want all of our students to be constantly mindful of their control of their future and taking ownership of their everyday achievements. You will probably have seen in the local press that we are celebrating our fourth set of GCSE results. The quality of these results is testament to the outstanding teachers and focused and determined learners that we have. Our progress measures and attainment measures over the last four years show that our students make more progress than students with similar starting points nationally. Our results place us as one of the most successful non-selective schools across North Bucks and MK and we could not be prouder of what our students consistently manage to achieve. At STFS, every student really does matter. Our school is student-centred, securing the very best outcomes and ensuring that everyone is aware of their responsibility. Success at school is a three-way partnership, the student, the school and the parents. It's hard being a teenager and there are many distractions, so we need to work in partnership with parents and students to ensure that our students feel confident and secure. We also work hard to instill a determination and resilience to succeed in each student, encouraging positive attitudes to learning and being the very best they can be. We know that the transition to secondary school can be daunting, but our supportive environment and dedicated teachers ensure that this process is as smooth as possible. You don't know the backstory of the students on the screen, but I do, we do. They could not have deserved their success more, and we are beyond proud to have facilitated their amazing achievements. We make no secret of the fact that our aim is to ensure that STFS offers an outstanding education to all young people who attend. I am delighted with the progress we have made. Our students are able to hold their heads high in bucks and proudly say that they attend STFS. We have an excellent school that develops and nurtures young people. We produce excellent outcomes and we do this with the very best teachers and the support of an excellent parent community. Everything we do has the students at the heart and I know that our young people are proud to be students here. I'm going to hand over to Amber, Archie, Finlay and Isabel who will share their experiences of being in Year 7 and how they have found their first four weeks in secondary school. When I joined Sir Thomas Fremantle, I really didn't like school and um, I go home on the weekends and I get really bored because I want to see my friends and all the teachers are really nice. I really enjoyed my start here at STFS. That all the teachers here are really supportive and, supportive and understanding and showed us all that there's nothing to be afraid of uh, and it's one of my best experiences of school life. Before I started at Sir Thomas Fremantle, I was very nervous and I was worried that the teachers were going to be like very nice but the day that I came here it was very nice, the teachers are all welcoming and it's actually really good, I have no nurse now and yeah it's, it's a very good school. 
So far my time at STFS has been amazing. We have done so many different things, like getting our Bunsen burner license in science, and now we get PE three times a week, which is a great result. I was really nervous about starting here, only having two other people coming from the same school as me. But when I got there, everyone was friendly and welcoming. Since I have started here, I have already made a bunch of new friends. When I got lost, which happened a lot, I could ask the teacher where I was and where I was meant to be, and they were showing me where to go to get to my classes on time. Also, because of Corona, there are many things we couldn't do, like contact sports and PE, or doing more experiments in science, but this just means I get to look forward to it later on in the year. We are so proud of the confidence and attitude of the current Year 7s. They've all made an outstanding start to their time at SCFS. I hope that what you've heard tonight will inspire trust and confidence in our school. Our existing parents agree that their child is happy, safe and makes good progress at SCFS. As I said earlier, over 95% of parents would recommend us to other parents. We're really looking forward to September 2021 and to welcoming you and your child into the STFS family. I have added the key dates for applications to be made to Bucks. Please ensure you meet their deadlines and please ensure you complete the application correctly. I know that some parents have said they worry about applying and not getting in. My advice would be, apply. Give yourself the best opportunity of getting the school that is right for your son or daughter. We are really sorry that we're unable to welcome you physically through our doors this year. However, virtually, we can. In the same place that you found the link to this presentation, you will also find a tour of our school. This was filmed during a normal school day this term. Whilst it has some COVID measures evident, such as our one-way system and our face mask signs, please do enjoy having a look around at what is essentially a normal day in the life of SCFS and enjoy meeting our teachers too. Thank you for your interest in Sir Thomas Fremantle School. We're desperately excited about what next year can bring and potentially welcoming you and your son or daughter into our school. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please email receptionist at sirthomasfremantle.org. If they can't help you, they'll know who can. <laughs>